internet friends. Welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Together Tuesday. So for today, I am getting out of the house. Sunday, I meant to do a food commentary on the food I've eaten all week and pretty much at the beginning, I was over it. I didn't want to talk about food. I didn't want to think about food. And then we cut to a shop where Steven and I were driving and we actually went to Value Village where I was gonna buy a few pieces of clothing. Some of my pants are too big. The oversized sweaters are getting too oversized. Surprisingly enough, my sleeves, my like arm length of the sleeves are getting too long, which I didn't know could happen if you lose weight. I was like, am I shrinking? And I meant height wise, you know, but I, it makes sense now when you think about, oh, you're losing fat in your arms and your shoulders. Your arms are going to appear to be shrinking in length. <laughs> but I didn't show you guys anything uh, because I wasn't excited about anything. And I kind of want to talk to you guys about the overlying issue that I'm seeing with the food and the losing weight and possibly a burnout in YouTube as well. And that is my desire to be perfect. And I think everyone desires to be perfect. Um, but I base a lot of my self-worth on that perfection level. <laughs> and I'm aware of it. Uh, if I were to listen to what therapists have told me, they would just say don't in a nutshell. So don't really know where to go from that. I just have to consistently remind myself that that way of thinking is wrong and to redirect those thoughts. But it's a little tricky. So when I was underweight, and overweight, they were both symptoms of an overlying problem. But they're a symptom. You're treating a symptom, and the disease rages on, consumes the human race. The fish rots from the head, as they say. So my thinking is, why not cut off the head? Of the human race. It's not a perfect metaphor. So I'm gonna go to Target today and just see if I can't get excited by something. The goal is, is to get one piece, and I hate paying full price for any clothing item, but there's something to be said about it incentivizing me to have one shirt that I really love and will make me happy when I put it on instead of putting on clothes and going, I hate this. Oh, look at this. My lips are too pale. I have four butt cheeks for some reason. All the things. Oh no. <laughs> I just got a very disappointed look from an older lady that I'm holding a camera up and talking to myself while walking and I get it, it's weird. <sighs> Not really the look I needed right now though. <sighs> Getting close to the road so I'm gonna stop walking for a second. I didn't say this stuff to like discourage anyone who is losing weight, it is an remarkable accomplishment to be losing weight. Uh, they, I think the analytics is like 5% of people who attempt it actually do. So it's impressive no matter what weight is lost. It's just uh, internal struggles of never doing good enough, I guess. <laughs> so today I'm gonna get out of the house, walk around, see the world in a bigger picture. Uh, I think maybe just seeing other people out in real life is going to help me visualize my realistic expectations. Hopefully find something that will make me really happy. And I shouldn't be looking for happiness in outside sources, but if there's an item that brings you joy, it can inspire you to feel better. So I, I'm going to be trying that. <laughs> So I guess at this point, let's just see how it goes. Uh, I don't know what size I am, so I don't know which section to start in. I probably should have figured that out first. Nothing at Target. Everything seems to be very matchy-matchy and sports themed. 
which, you know, honestly, I'm a basic bitch, so normally that would be what I would go for. Not a huge fan of spending $50 on a tracksuit in separate pieces. If I'm buying a matchy-matchy outfit, I kind of want it to be one price, one, one outfit. But it seems that this is gonna be, the trend for the season is very matchy-matchy. Like even the linen type clothes were matched up. So, might have a hard time finding a print that I really enjoy. I must be outdated or something. Either that or I really just don't want new clothes yet. Like, I actually think all the pieces are great. It's just they're exactly like everything else I own. One color, track suits, crop tops. Nothing new or exciting. I will say that H&M, uh, their track suits, which they have plenty of, were $17 a piece and the ones at Target were $25. So if you're looking for a new tracksuit that is exactly the same color and you can get it at Target, just go to H&M instead. I just, uh, I couldn't find any fucking patterns. No excitement. And every store looks the same. And it's actually funny because I was in, I checked out Maurice's and they were playing the song Cult Comparison is Killing Me Slowly and I was just like, you guys couldn't have hit the nail on the head any harder. So. We may have found a winner here. That's cute. <gasps> Ooh, tacos. Okay, but I don't like the style, but here is what I'm talking about. If that wasn't in a small. You know, I think I had the wrong idea of what kind of clothes to expect to find at the mall. I think maybe Target and all these other brands are just um, helping people buy their basics. That's gotta be it. Like, I think I think it's mostly just for basics. Which I love, I love a good basic. I really do. I just am needing a little bit of whimsy, maybe some humor, something that feels uniquely special to help me feel uniquely special on days when I don't. If anything, I'm getting some sunshine in, I'm getting some time outside. I'm not going to let myself feel discouraged that I don't know what size I should be looking for, what section I should be in, what I'm even looking for, is it possible? Nope, not gonna let any of that get to me. Just gonna enjoy my steps and my time outside. needed an update. So I'm in a bra and leggings on the internet. I don't know if this is allowed or if I should be doing it, but this is just to show you guys, this is what we're starting out with. I did find some items that I loved. It was at Value Village and in total this was $50. So I did buy some basics, but all of the basics were $2, not $25 each, which I love. So I'm gonna show you some, some outfits, maybe bring this down a little bit right there. Am I doing this wrong? 
I'm gonna show you guys what I found real quick. Ready? All right, I'm gonna back up just a little bit because it didn't work. I love it. It's the first shirt I saw when I walked in. It reminds me of the 70s. It's just a nice little tank top that is, you know, it's cute. It's pink and it's got flowers. And I like the cut of it. It reminds me of the 60s, 70s styles of dresses that stopped right there. And next, just a little pink kitsune shirt. Uh, it is very cut up but honestly that's perfect for the summer when you're feeling a little rocker with red hair i love it it's simple it's easy it's cute i love kitsunes it's just a tank top with leggings what's not to love about it isn't it pretty this is the shirt that makes me very happy that i can say the shopping was a success and last but not least and yes i am still wearing my leggings a cute little heart dress in the style i like with cute little sleeves this was also three dollars this kind of reminds me of the dress I was looking at in the mall that was like $40. It doesn't have a tag, so I don't know the brand, but it came from Value Village. If I wasn't so lazy and tired from all the walking today, I'd probably go get my beauty light, but I'll get it tomorrow. My God, I love this hair. Okay, so I'm obviously feeling very happy. I'm feeling great about having something pink and simple, having a heart-shaped dress, having a ramen noodle shirt. Those are the kind of things I was looking for. Now, this is the part that I need to analyze though. Why did changing my hair and buying things at a decent price make me happy? Well, <laughs> new things are nice. I don't know if there's much more to look into it, but the question is why did I feel I needed it? Uh, I know I was sick of my hair, so needed that, but I was feeling very overwhelmed. I was feeling the need for perfection. And I think I figured out a way to kind of minimize that a little bit, and that is, um, my food rating system on Fridays needs to go away. I'm realizing for me, that's harmful. I'm already counting my calories throughout the week, trying to get in my protein goals. I don't need me to sit there and give myself a D every day for not doing good enough. That is not helpful for my mental state. Some people it might be, for me it's not. I am still gonna do food and cooking commentary, but I think I need to be approaching that from a different point of view as far as this was good because it had this amount of protein, these kind of carbs, and I liked it cooked this way. I mean, it seems so simple to realize that now, but um, I like to analyze things, so I automatically went to a grading scale. I'm losing weight. I'm trying my hardest. I don't need to be sitting there every week and then telling myself that I suck. <laughs> so uh, that was a dumb idea by me. I'm learning. Part of trying to be in a healthy lifestyle is learning where you go wrong and trying to correct it and not being too hard on yourself in the process. So that is where I'm working on that. Uh, the other thing is, is that I had a bag of apple chips, 380 calories per bag. So I didn't have the calories for that. I loaded up this morning knowing that I was going to be busy. So I had a lot of oatmeal, protein, well, not a lot of protein. I had 40 grams of protein. I was planning on having a whole bunch of shrimp tonight and that would have been all the protein I needed and it would have been in calorie deficit. Um, I ate that bag of chips and if I was still going to be super hard on myself, I would just stop right there. But my protein goals are more important to me than my calorie deficit. I know that the shrimp is going to be around 250 calories, 200, but it's gonna get me like more than enough protein. So I'm going to have the protein and I'm not gonna beat myself up about the chips because it was good and I liked it. It wasn't that bad. I chose a healthier choice for chips. I'm not eating them every day. I don't need to be mean to myself about it. And I'm not mad at myself for having to change the idea for YouTube. The goal is, is to vlog every day. I'm doing that. I don't need to be so mean to myself. And as far as looks go, well, um, that's part of body dysmorphia that I'm probably always going to be struggling with. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but it's very weird to look at people around you and go, they look normal. Everyone, everyone looks normal and you see yourself as like this alien entity, like you're not normal looking. There's something off, wrong. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what to do with that yet, uh, but I'm gonna keep looking. That's the best I can do right there, is keep reminding myself. I can be happy about the hair color. I like the hair color. I like the shirts. Wearing clothes that fit is nice to help with that <laughs> because wearing baggy clothes that are oversized and making me think that I'm small in my head that I should be looking like I'm at the goal weight and I haven't been giving it that time it needs to be there. Um, wasn't helping. Wearing the baggy clothes was making me think that my body should look 
a certain way because it's smaller. So wearing clothes that fits definitely does help. <laughs> and you know, to be honest, I have been forcing myself a little bit to wear crop tops and all that because I want, I want to be happy in my body, but I don't think I need to be doing that either. If I feel like wearing a baggy long shirt today, that's what I'm gonna do. You guys know I'm in a journey. I don't think you're scrutinizing me the way I am. So I just need to chill. <laughs> I'm feeling very happy. I mean, I spent that whole time trying to look inwardly and figure out why I was feeling those feelings. And even if I hadn't come up with an answer, the important part was that I was outside trying to look at these things from different perspectives, trying to figure out why I'm feeling this way, not just, like feeling your feelings is important, but kind of analyzing why these feelings are happening also is important. Oh my God, I feel like I'm preaching to you guys when I have no answers whatsoever. This is what I figured out for me. You do you. You know what's really funny too, is if someone scrutinized me, I wouldn't care. It's, it's me that I'm, I'm mad at me when I do it. It's me and me have a little rocky relationship going on. And at the end of the day, the person whose opinion I care about the most is Steven's. It should be my own, but I know I lie to myself all the time. So Steven loves me. He has a high opinion of me. That's good. This guy loves me. That's also good. What do you guys think of the hair? Keep it this way for a while. I do think it helps the whole like lips being pale thing. I'm not wearing any lipstick, but every time I always look so pale on the lips, I think it helps. All right, so um, this is the end of me being a talking head for today. Please enjoy Steven and I enjoying together time. I don't know what game we're about to play, so enjoy whatever game we're about to play. And I will see you guys tomorrow.